And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The most exciting thing you've heard of this week. Guess that game! Brought to you by the Play On Game Channel. Number one. This is an arcade game released in 1998 by Atari and Midway Games. It's a fantasy-themed hack-and-slash-style dungeon crawl game and a sequel to the 1985 and 1986 popular releases by the same name. Its unusual features for an arcade game included passwords and characters that could be saved, enabling players to play over the course of a long period of time. I guess you could say they're still telling legends about this one. A couple seconds left. Let's see if you can get it. And time. The answer is... Gauntlet Legends! Number 2. This is a platform game written for the Amiga, a family of computers by Gremlin Graphics and published in 1992. This game was marketed as a rival to Sega's Blue Blur. That's right, Sonic the Hedgehog. This game was even ported to other platforms and followed by a sequel in 1993. This game was initially very well released, receiving scores of 97, 98, 99%. Only a couple seconds left. Can you get it? And time. The answer is... Zool! Ninja of the Nth Dimension. Number 3. This is a role-playing video game developed and published by Square Enix for the Family Computer, or Famicom system. The game was originally released in Japan on April 27, 1990. The original Famicom version sold 1.4 million copies in Japan. This game was later remade and released in 2006 in the United States and Europe. I guess you could say this was never going to be their final adventure. Only a couple seconds left, let's see if you can get it. And time. The answer is Final Fantasy 3. Number 4. This is a racing game developed by Criterion Games and published by Acclaim Entertainment for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. Released in 2001, this game became the first of a long series of high speed racing games noted for over the top crashes and high risk gameplay mechanics. On its initial release, the game was received favorably by Metacritic and other publications. I guess you could say they were really burning rubber on this one. Only a couple seconds left, let's see if you get it. And time. The answer is... Burnout! Number 5. This is a 1999 third-person shooter developed and published by Rare for the Nintendo 64. The game follows the story of three members of a galactic law enforcement team as they try to stop a horde of drones led by an insectoid called Mizar. This game received generally positive reviews from critics, and praise was given to its detailed graphics and lifespan, while criticism was targeted at its confusing controls and very large completion requirements. A couple seconds left, let's see if you get this one. And time. The answer is... Jet Force Gemini! Number 6. This is a 2D mega action game developed by Masaya and released for Super Nintendo in 1992. It's the second entry in the Assault Suit series and a prequel to the first game, Target Earth. The game was localized and published overseas by Konami, and the story follows a man named Jake Brain, who pilots against a giant mecha and fights a war engulfing the entire world. This game was originally released on the Super NES, ported later to the PlayStation 2, and finally the Nintendo Switch in 2023. A couple seconds left. And time. The answer is... Cybernator! Number 7! This is a 2003 third-person shooter developed and published by Capcom for the Nintendo GameCube. Set in a space colony compound, the game follows a female mercenary fighting against berserk robots. It was originally compared to games like Devil May Cry and Resident Evil. However, it received mixed reviews and failed commercially. Several critics found the game repetitive and unintuitive, and they were divided on the control scheme. A couple seconds left, let's see if you can get this one. 
and time. The answer is PNO3. Number eight. Okay, I had to put one easy one on this list. This is a 1995 platform game developed by Rare and published by Nintendo for the SNES. This game received great acclaim, being widely regarded as one of the greatest 2D platformers ever made. Praise was directed at its graphics, gameplay, and soundtrack, and it was the second best-selling game of 1995 and the sixth best-selling game for the SNES. This one should be pretty easy. A couple seconds left. And time. The answer is Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy Kong's Quest. Number 9. This is a series of fantasy role playing games developed by Camelot Software and published by Nintendo originally for the Game Boy Advance. These games' characters navigate through the world by defeating enemies, solving puzzles, and completing assigned missions to complete the storyline. The original two games were released in 2001 and 2002, respectively, with the third being released in 2010. The series has received generally favorable reception by critics, and the first game is widely lauded as one of the best for the Game Boy Advance. Only a couple seconds left. Let's see if you can get this one. And time. The answer is... Golden Sun! Number 10! Last one. This is a 1991 turn-based strategy 4X video game, developed and published by Microprose. The player is tasked with leading an entire human civilization over the course of several millennia by controlling various areas such as urban development, exploration, government, trade, research, and military. The player can control individual units and advance the exploration, conquest, and settlement of the game's world. This is also the beginning of a much longer series following up to today. A couple seconds left. And time. The answer is... Sid Meier's Civilization. Hey, thanks for watching the video. How'd you do? You get them all right? I know I did. I want to invite you to subscribe to the Play On Game Channel. We have all kinds of content coming, and I've got some new things in the works I think you might like. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to play on. Thank you.